Hi, I'm Steve and uh, welcome to my garden. Uh, today I thought we'd uh, talk about uh, onions or and how they grow um, from seed to um, slowly sling plants to big bulbing onions. And I'm going to talk about uh, how how I grow my onions and how I get my onions to go really big, um, you know, bigger than big as my fist, you know. Yeah, so um, shall we get cracking and I'll show you the comparisons between each and um, when they're ready to pick and and all the diseases they should ha uh, should not have, but sometimes they do. Anyway, let's, let's get cracking. Amazing, uh, you know, you get you know, seed like this and then they grow, grow into plants that uh, grow big onions to eat. Um, it's amazing how small seed deer grows into a big onion. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty amazed about that. Here you go, there's a, there's a seed um, that you plant in the ground. Uh, you just lightly cover, you know, because you don't need to cover them too deep because um, they're only small seeds and then you need light covering. Um, so I just put mine in a container, sprinkle it, and then you put uh, um, some potty mix all over the top of it keep it nice and moist and uh, wait for them to grow um, to a big enough size to transplant and uh, this is some I've um, transplanted in the, into a 30 litre uh, bin um, see how the plants grow like this um, yeah so that that's, that's another stage um, yeah, it's another another stage of um, growing growing onions. Now, I beg a question to you: Do you um, do you think of an onion as a leaf crop or a root crop? Just think about it for a wee bit. Um, as you know, they are both. Um, when they're young, they're a leaf crop, so therefore you feed them lots of nitrogen. Um, you know. And uh, and once they get to about about this size, they start to bulb up like that. Um, they go into a, a root crop. Um, therefore, they don't need as much nitrogen. But what they do need is um, um, a lot of water because um, onions like water because uh, most of the onions probably just water and um, the other reason is that if you feed them a lot of nitrogen when they're younger and they grow a lot of um, um, leaf each of these leaf here represents an onion ring and the more onion rings you have on here uh, the more I mean the more leaves you have on top of the onion the bigger the onion's going to be because each one represents a round on the onion um, and once that fills up, um, it's, um, when it's watered and that there, this onion swells up, and this how come you get a big onion? Um, we'll just go over here. Um, um, these are these are Italian long keeper. Um, I can't know where you can see this, but see. See how big that onion there is? And look how big the leaves are, how thick they are. See, so see there's, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, you know, there's about 12 blades on that onion. And now it's, it's bulbing up, it's swelling out. And look how big that is. It, I can't even put my fist right around the onion. Um, this is um, Italian long keeper. Um, there's some more over here. Um, they're getting pretty big as well. Um, beside it is um, is a white onion, um, white Spanish, I think it's called. And you can tell them just that they're they're the um, early onions. So uh, was long keeper. They're a sweet onion. Um, see, that's getting pretty big as well. Look how big that is. Sits around my fist. I can't get there. Yet. See, um, and here's an example of uh, when they're uh, starting to mature and, and not going to grow anymore. 
see they're not they should be standing up straight like this you know like the leaf like that so this one's bending over the next bent over and we just finish finish growing um, so I just take I'm gonna take those out of the ground um, and leave the rest in to grow a bit more so you know so I just pull this one out and you know look at that that's a it's a nice onion um, it's not as big as I wanted to get it but you know I'll be happy with that see that, that's another one that's it's bent over I'm just gonna pull them out if I leave that in the ground um, and it gets wet the base is gonna rot so because it's finished growing it's not going to put anything more into the onion so I'm just going to pull, pull the ones out that uh, that are um, bent over yeah so that's that's the trick of our onion but you know the last well, the last year I was amazed at uh, how many onions I've got hit, um, split and here's this fine example here's another one example this is the first one I've this year and look that's this one onion plant there it's just gone like a shallot and it's split in half and it's got two two stems on it so you've got one onion there and another one there I've had a few like that last year um, and you know there's look how big this one is here Whoa. I don't know we can see that oh where is it there okay it's, it's, might be a bit angle this way. But look how big this one here is. Oh, that's really big. And out there, um, um, these two here are at the back are called uh, they're, um, mammoth onions. They once you um, in the UK they have onion competitions. They go really massive and big. Yeah, I had a few seeds left over, and uh, I think they're. These are the only two seeds that germinated. The rest didn't go, so I must, the seeds must have get a bit old. Yeah, so um, that's that's the reason. Uh, so, uh, but uh, well, this here's another one that's uh, finished growing, just bent over. So I'm going to pull this one out. And man, look at that! That's a really big onion. Um, this one's really small, but it's finished growing because it's bent over. Uh, you know, they're good eating like this size, um, but I like onions really big, like this. Can't beat them. One slice for a hamburger. Mmm, yummy. And this, this, um, they're all different stages here because I didn't have any much excess of um, the seed this year. Um, and we're a bit late uh, uh, put them in the ground and you know but usually by now I usually have most of my onions grown and pulled out by now but but it, we got some more summer days and that there so you know look at it easy here's another example I don't know if you can see that see that's a one onion plant and that's split apart too it's starting to split apart see it's got two heads on it see amazing it's like a shallot but it's not a shallot because it's, a, and it's an onion seed. Hmm. Amazing. Yeah, um, I thought I'd share that bit of information with you. Uh, you know, see if you can grow some of these big, massive onions yourself. Um, you know, it's more satisfying now, I reckon, to have grow big onions than just mediocre onions. But I like my onions big, so yeah, that's me. Um, yeah, anyway, um, to recap that, that's the seed that you plant in the ground, you know. Um, and then you wait for the plants to come up you know, this size and then they get to about this and um, starting to bulb up you know there's there'll be another month two months or so still grow in autumn here so they'll be they'll be just about ready um, they're sweet onions so they're not gonna keep um, the only one that's gonna keep is those Italian long keeper the first two rows here you know and look at that, yeah, it's a, it's a big onion. <laughs> Area. Um, I don't know, I'm going to break my record of um, the weight of the onion. Um, it was nearly four, uh, nearly two kgs for an onion, just one onion head. So, you know, <laughs> I don't know why we'll get it this year. Um, well, time tell. Anyway, uh, and then, then they grow, 
and you harvest them and you get onions like this you know you can't complain about that you know that's a good onion you know even these these sides on here I planted in, in a bin um, you know Amazing. Yeah, so there, that's how my how I grow my onions. Anyway, um, if you enjoyed this um, video, go and give us a thumbs up, and um, and once it's new subscribers, welcome to my channel. Um, um, I want to, you know, I'm pleased that uh, I can share my knowledge with some other one people in the world. Uh, even here and down in New Zealand. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.